corner kick. Dane St. Clair coming up with a big save late in the first half. Martin Paz comes way out to play it. Valentine forward, Robin Lode. One of the differences you see between Robin Lode and Emmanuel Reynoso. Here's Ariaga lumping a ball forward. Dragapane off the volley, and the follow-up is in for Mender Garcia. Minnesota United early second half goal. A sizzler of a shot by Fragapane is beaten away by Paz, and then it's blasted home by Mender Garcia. 1-0 Minnesota United. Hiding. Gaston Brugman's had a shot on target tonight. Edwards on the left side. Pooch. Stepped away from Surreal. Overlapped by Leardom. Ball to him from Alvarez. Smashed across the face of goal, and it's deflected in. Leardom's cross has found the back of the net. Whether or not it's off a Galaxy player or an own goal is still to be determined, but it is a goal. LA Galaxy in front, 1-0, 35th minute of the game. Whether it's the final pass in behind or, or taking on himself. And then for LA Galaxy, the weather, the storm that we talked about, you know, shaking off the rust, this is their first game of the season. Came in here, held on tightly after giving up some opportunities and got a go-ahead goal themselves off a really good play in circulation possession. Ariola reaches this ball from Cerillo. Now Bonner's had a goal and it's smashed in right at the end of the half. FC Dallas has scored. It's Alan Velasco. Ball was dummy by Ferreira, and Legette has it in space. Leardom is back defending against Velasco. More numbers dropping in behind the ball. Ariola leaps for the header, so does Edwards. This falls right in front of goal for Jesus Ferreira. He's got his first of 2023, and FC Dallas leads 2-1. Determination every time now that FC Dallas latches onto possession to drive numbers forward and hit LA Galaxy on the counterattack. attack call, overlapped by Tumasi. call driving centrally, slips a nice ball into Ferreira, and Ferreira, off the inside of the post, has made it two against the LA Galaxy for the second time in as many seasons. And the lead is two for FC Dallas at home, 64 minutes into the game. Gressel's right foot and Gall's left foot taking a look at it. And it will be Gressel swinging it in with the right foot, and it's headed in. Oh, well worked on the set piece for Vancouver, and they have their first goal of the game. One of the 51 players ever on the men's side to appear in four World Cups. Alvarez and Jovalic, Raheem Edwards. Edwards and Takahoka spills it, and it's punched in for a goal. LA Galaxy were on the other end of that two weeks ago, surrendering a goal in first half stoppage time. They flipped the script tonight. It's 1-1. It's Perry's that one over. With that kind of power, you're not going to catch that one. Now Rodriguez with a second corner kick of the game, and it's in! Pooch tries to play at the back post. It took a deflection. It went in. The goal's been given despite all the protests for now by San Jose and JT Marcinkowski. The ability of him to work back defensively. I think about the yellow card that he earned in the first half. That was tracking back. Oh, Mensa under pressure. Gave it away. Jovovic scores. Substitution goal. Back to what he's accustomed to doing. Jovovic has doubled the lead. And the Galaxy are on their way to a win in the Kelly Classico. First league game of the year for Chakaris. A ball in from Espinosa. Held in by Trauco. Taken on the half volley by Tommy Thompson. And slotted in for a goal. And right now the flag has stayed down. And Rodriguez has a goal to pull one back here in the dying embers of the game for San Jose. The hold up play by Bogush. He had a goal against Real Salt Lake last week as well. His first line breaking pass. He went this. Then the Buke. Buke in the area. Got it on his right foot. And how about Changing the lineup, Steve Van Buke has scored very early for the home team, LAFC.
trying to find the feet of Yule. San Jose going short on the corner and then trying to get the defense moving. Espinosa sent it in, and this ball goes in! Goal, Miguel Tronco from way outside the box. It looked like it crossed up McCarthy. It's an equalizer early in the second half for San Jose. Miguel Trauco has made it 1-1, 53rd minute of the match. Rodriguez, I believe. Tanner Beeson to Rodriguez's right is the player guilty of the handball in the area, which sets up this Carlos Vela penalty kick, the slow run-up, takes it and tucks it in! Fifth-year man for San Jose, their talisman, Christian Espinosa. Espinosa drives it in, headed towards the back post, off the post and in! It is a goal for San Jose! It wasn't pretty, but the goal has been scored! Their first of the night! So when he says he needs to be at his best, it's, a, it's also about him growing, him improving, him becoming a better teacher, effective communicator, understanding the tactics and the development of the game as it progresses. Cross comes in from Alan Velasco and headed it in. It's an equalizer. Jafari was up there. You pointed out a moment ago. Danielle is the target, and he is the target, and he's the goal scorer. 1-1 with just a couple of minutes of stoppage time remaining. If those positions are constantly rotating, the personnel that you're playing with are constantly rotating, it's going to be difficult. Here's Shallowy, Shallowy at the end line, and at the back post, it's slammed in! Goal for Sporting Kansas City, it's Gotti Kenda! And a change between Eric Tommy and Marinos Jonis. Gotti Kenda, he scored the goal in the 41st minute of a game that started 54 minutes due to lightning in the area. Here's Daniel Shallowy bringing it into the box, and he shoots for the far post, and Shallowy has done it to FC Dallas for the eighth time in his career! 2-0 Sporting Kansas City at the hour mark! As we have reached the end of normal time. Ball by Facundo Quinone, trying to drop it in the path to Ferreira. The aforementioned McIntosh off his line, but he's caught out, and Ferreira floats something in to score for FC Dallas at the beginning of stoppage time. There will be no clean sheets, and the best team in Major League Soccer this year in terms of digging out of the hole. He'll join Colombia for the upcoming international window with a friendly scheduled in Spain against Iraq, and then on to Gilsenkirchen to play Germany and a friendly. After that, Evander with a ball that flies over Chara, but it's a bullet header, and in! The opening goal has finally come for Portland! How good has Joe Willis been ever since he came from his time at D.C. United in Houston to Nashville? About 110 games played, 109 goals conceded, but he may be under pressure right now after the ball is given away. He just conceded one, a giveaway, turns in to a late arriving run, and finally, after a couple of opportunities tonight, Fabian Herbers has scored Chicago's in front. We're in the 45th minute, but with both Taxi Funtas and then Steve Bernbaum down for extended periods. There's going to be a healthy amount of stoppage time. Here's a run, Carlos Hill serves a great ball into the box, and it's a goal for New England. Bo has found the opener late in the first half. The save percentage for Petrovic was 76% last year. 78 so far this year. Perfect the other night. 10 of 10. Giveaway DC United. Chance to England. Nowhere has been shipped again. Goal. DC United. New England. 2 DC United nil. Ready. Musket men. Andy Nahar looks like came up with a muscle strain because now he's down on the ground and he was, he was limping after that. 
Yeah, that certainly would explain the blow-by by Boateng. And Boateng is on the ball again. Hart's combining with Carlos Heel. Now back in for Hart. Oh, what a finish! Two to nine for Ian Hart. He had a chip, but he smashes that one home. And welcome back to Major League Soccer, Ian Hart. There hasn't been much in the way of let up. Crabs pushing numbers forward. They've got their chance. Bo looking for one. There was a touch by DC United. So does one back possession. Any similarities, any major differences you're seeing in how this game is developing so far? No, it's not. Oh, here we go. Uh, here we go. Longwane. Longwane bringing it in. Longwane smashes it in. It is a solo goal of his own making. Bunga Hukle Longwane has given Minnesota the lead. Minnesota with Longwane. Ball to his feet from Will Trap. To the maestro, Reynoso. Reynoso looking for Longwane. Bullet header. 2 0. A brace for Longwane. 10 men, Minnesota has doubled the lead. But he didn't. Pookie got it all wrong. Great counter attack again every time. Minnesota come forward, they look like they're going to score. No, a slow crossfield ball is intercepted by Longwane. He has two. He sets up Reynoso. Reynoso carries it in. And a cheeky little finish has made it 3 0 Minnesota. Look how deep Puebla defend this. Noticed this a few times. They're on the six yard box. Normally, you'd expect the team to be up somewhere near at least the penalty spot in this instance, but they defend it deep. Left footed curly delivery and in! Another moment of magic for Emmanuel Reynoso! Joining Lunguane with the brace, and it continues to fall apart for Pomuebla! Not think about the sport for a couple of weeks before his arrival in Minnesota. It is the aforementioned Temu Puki to Dotson. Pushed it into space. Long one. He's got a great chance. And he finishes it. And finally the breakthrough comes. And once again, it's Bungo Hook by Long Wane who sets the crowd at Allianz Field into a frenzy. 1 0. by this let's see if it affects him Gutierrez draws the PK and it's slammed in Shakiri 1-1 and still 21 pulsating minutes to come here at Allianz Field at St. Paul here's a chance by Dotson Dotson rolling it it's a run from the near side made by Longwane now Valentin picks it up on the move. Fragapane trying to play in Reynoso. Longwane has another chance, and he's buried it again! This man has gone to another level in League's Cup of the Hoople Longwane. He's restored Minnesota's lead. Being patient as Navarro's went narrow, Longwane saw that little bit of space in the right. He's punished Chicago fight, uh, fire twice by picking up the ball in the areas. Now here's a cross rolled in by Navarro. There's a hand to it by Dane St. Clair. There's a follow-up at the back post. And this game keeps going back and forth. Suke has equalized to the 79th minute. What a ball in the box from Suke. Right in between the posts where it matters. And it was a tremendous defensive header by Debassi. Now it's Shakiri and then Pineda. And then trying to steer it on goal. The snap header is in for chances you can't give him a third he punishes minnesota and kai kamara has given chicago an improbable lead in the you would have based on the current results as this comes in from feta ace dumbia trying to reach it yet has whipped on it now brian and gulo oh and gulo slaps one in puebla has their first goal of league's cup it's their leading goal scorer from Liga Enekis, Brian Angulo. And he lashes a laser 
past Chris Brady. Here's Shakiri's free kick that is deflected and rolls in. Rodriguez is wrong footed and Shakiri's free kick is in to make it 1 1. A bit of a wry smile there from Rodriguez. He can't believe it. He's going down to his left hand side. And Velasco ready for the right footed delivery to give FC Dallas the lead. Moroya with the foul. Foul Kamungo and Velasco on the stutter step slaps it in and FC Dallas have their goal. 1-0 FC Dallas over Mazatlan. Negative in my opinion from coach Viscalvo. Maria trying to reach this and it doesn't come off there for Quinone and Mazatlan streaming numbers forward and arriving right in the penalty box. The shot is taken, the goal is scored. This is Montano who scores it. It did ricochet off an FC Dallas defender, but right after making two changes, Mazatlan on the break has leveled the game at 1-1. It comes off an error again, but it's brilliant play from Luis Amadeo. Being run by Sebastian Lechette. And then out on the right side, Ariola to Barnetta, cross at the back post, and it's on to the second half sub. He's already had one great chance. He buries his second. And with a quarter hour to play, it's FC Dallas back on top. If we uh, another occasion where a Lanza player could maybe make a run off of one. White foot delivery swings oh! out, and it's in. Atlanta United off a great delivery by Brooks Lennon. And they have scored the opener. It's Yakumakis. Yorigos Yakumakis hasn't been involved much in the first 10 minutes, but now he's involved. He's given the road team the advantage in Seattle. Almada. Far post is on if they can see it. And it's Yakumakis making a run, and he heads it down off the ball from Almada. And Yakumakis has another one. Goal Atlanta United. A brace for Yorgos Yakimakis and supporters who have made just about as long of a trip as you can make in Major League Soccer are delighted. Last attack of the game right now. Farfan whips it in. Farfan's ball is headed and it's in at the death. Are you kidding me? FC Dallas has scored. And Kosi Tafari leaves it as late as it can possibly be. A dramatic winner. And running directly at it. I have to think if try and get that dipping action to come right over the top of it. 13th minute of the game. And it is a direct effort that deflects and off the wall. Goal, Houston. Vancouver gave up another set piece, and Hector Herrera makes them pay. Dynamo in front, 1-0. Trying to hit back on the counter now. Griffin Dorsey, Houston. Griffin Dorsey still going, still has space, and room to shoot, and slams it in. Goal, Houston. A beauty of the goal scored by Griffin Dorsey. There was never any pressure on Dorsey. He lets her rip, and Houston scores before halftime. They haven't given Vancouver many opportunities to find moments in transition, been set up defensively, and that's what this Houston team can do when they get the lead at home. It can be very difficult to try to come back. Now Brad Smith, he's got Baird with him. Yvonne Franco picking him up and putting him down to join the attack. He's arriving and heads it home! A ball for Brad Smith, and what a run by Yvonne Franco to extend the lead! 3-0 Houston at home! The expectation has always been trophies. They've fallen far from that, but in just a year here, it's the first year for Ben Olsen, he's already got them with a the chance, playing so well here. And Here's Brad Smith. Smith picks it up in space. He's got two runners with him. Deflection, challenge put in by Burhartor. Ball is in anyway. Fourth goal of the game for Houston Dynamo. This one for Ibrahim Aliyu. Well, the only thing left, the, the carrot out there right now for Houston is another clean sheet. Looking for their Major League Soccer leading 13th clean sheet. 
Another ball into the area right there at the back post, and they won't have the clean sheet as it is easily set up. It's Burhalter in the end off a ball from Javane Brown, and it's 4-1 as Vancouver scores right at the expiration of normal time.